So I've showed you this before. This is this bridge that was built here about a year ago. And this is about three miles of creek that runs through here. Now what's kind of weird is these are sand bottoms, but there's still dirt on the top before you get down to the sand. And it kind of leaves this water kind of murky looking. But you can see the rock sticking through the side there. I'll show you over here. This looks like, uh, you know, rocks that have been dumped here, but it really isn't. These are. This is this Georgia granite that I was telling you about. This is Georgia granite. But down here, these are all rocks that just pile up over the years of, you know, the twists and turns of the water as it gets high, which is not very often, by the way. Now, this is some Georgia granite piled down here. But all these rocks here, these have just ended up here over the years. They just pile up by the tons. Every color combination you can think of. Now, the leaves are starting to, to uh, cover up a lot of the stuff, but some of these rocks are just beautiful. Like those yellow-looking ones. But this is three miles of nothing but different kinds of rocks. Mainly granite or quartz. Granite or quartz. There's big, huge pieces of it coming through here. All over the place. Yellow, dark. I like rock hunting a little, not a lot. I come down here and pick up some here and there. But I'm not into it that much. Those are those fruit trees that were planted. A couple times, this was property was foreclosed on a couple times over the years. And uh, those were planted to attract deer, probably. But this... This splits off different places. Uh, three miles of this. See, now right here, the water is like, you know, it's not dry, but there are big, huge places where it twists around just stacked with rocks. Different kinds of rocks. Three miles of this. You know, if you're walking at a decent clip, it's 20 minutes a mile. So even if there was nothing in your way, you could, uh, it'd take you three miles to walk this rock hunting area. But when you're going slow like this, it's even longer. This is called Ellington Creek, by the way. But it's nice because you can really see on the side. A lot of nice birds singing. See the leaves are covering a lot of the rocks now, but this is all exposed rocks, like thousands of them. A lot of animals living along the sides.
big huge trees all over the place. See this? You could just hunt rocks forever. See here's barbed wire that goes along the side of here. So this was roped off at one time. It's cool though, isn't it? Better make sure you have a tetanus shot before you come down here. Now, the property line here is on the other side of the creek as well. But after you keep going quite a, maybe another half mile, the property on the other side of the creek belongs to a paper mill. But that's quite a ways away. You look at that root system on that tree. That's a monster. You wouldn't think a pine tree's root would go that far down, would you? And honestly, I'm not really sure what, I think that's a loblolly pine, but I'm not sure. Pretty cool though, isn't it? Seen over there, the creek splits. That's quite a root system, I think. 